Okay, here is a quick tutorial on how to print a list. So you might have a list that you want to print um, for someone else to see. And some people have said that when I do print and then subject list, which is the name of this list up here, what actually happens is I get the list outputted as a full string, which looks a bit ugly because I'm getting the brackets as well. So how do we change this? What we're going to do instead is we can say that we're print printing individual elements of the list. But even this is quite inefficient. So if you did this, you could go through and cycle through the whole list, starting at position 0, which is here, and then going to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And when we printed that out, it'd look a bit better. Please choose from the following subjects, maths, English. But let's say, for example, you have a list of 10 items, or 20, or 100 items, then that becomes really inefficient. So what we would do instead is we'd use a for loop. In this case, we're going to say for counts in range, starting at, so where it says a start, we're going to start at point zero. And we could say we're going to stop at one, two, three, four, five. But actually, that still is inefficient. Instead, what we're going to say is we're going to stop at the full length of subject list. Yeah, so start at zero, end at the length of the whole subject list. So that's the last thing we print. Then we'll print our subject list. And this time, rather than passing an individual position in the list, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're just going to actually pass the value of count. So let's just read through this. We've made a list at the top. We're asking people to choose from the following subjects. And then we've said the loop is going to take place so we're going to print out the whole subject list starting from the value of count, which is from zero, all the way through the subject list. So it'll start at zero, it'll loop round, go to one, two, three, four, and then when it gets to five, which is the last element in the list, it'll stop. Let's see that running in action. So here we've got, please choose from the following subjects. It prints out, it's a very elegant um, four lines of code that we've got, a list declared another print statement, and this for loop is really efficient. And that's how you would print out a list efficiently.